Okay, so I just hypothesized right now that it will get bigger when I block the slots, and I don't know if anything's going to happen at all. Maybe. So it did get bigger. But actually kind of a lot. I like the hole in size. If you can see, it's kind of hard to see. But yeah, so... I can do that. So right now, my hypothesis, which is proven correct, in the fact that... I can't hold this here. In the fact that the vortex got bigger. And the independent variable that we were changing to get results out of the experiment was blocking the slots or not, because it changed the size of the vortex, I think. Yeah. And um, the dependent variable is the size of the vortex because you're basing it off of whether or not the slots were blocked. And the, there's, it didn't, none of it went into condensation either. It all went, which is like the liquid form, I guess it was going to after this. It all went into, um, it just stayed in the vortex and didn't go out. And I guess it's going to stay that way until the dry ice runs out. And so, yeah. And if I redid this experiment, I would, they said that you can put um, food dye in the water so that the vortex would, like, change color, you know? But, um, I was going to do it, like, blue because I like blue. But it would have been really hard to see, I think, on a black background. Or, I don't know what else you could do. Yeah.